So this is Ubuntu Oracular 24.10 and I'm going to be installing this in a desktop computer. So this is the boot up menu. I'm going to select the first option. So I'm going to leave it selected at English. I'll click next. So here you can customize your Ubuntu to your needs before you set up. So there's seeing, there's hearing, there's typing, pointing and clicking and zoom. This is a keyboard layout settings. I'm going to leave it at English. So this is connect to the internet. I'm using wired connection. So here it says, what do you want to do with Ubuntu? There are two options, install Ubuntu or try. I'm going to leave the first option selected, install Ubuntu. How would you like to install Ubuntu? Interactive installation or automated installation? I'm going to leave it at interactive installation. What apps would you like to install to start with? This is the default selection. This is extended selection. So the default selection is just the essentials, web browser, and basic utilities. So the extended selection is an offline friendly selection of office tools, utilities, and web browser. I'm going to select extended selection. And this is to install recommended proprietary software. I'm going to check both boxes. Install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. And download and install support for additional media formats. So this is a disk setup. How do you want to install Ubuntu? Erase disks and install Ubuntu or manual installation. I'm going to select the first option, erase disk and install Ubuntu. Here I have to create an account. I'll type a password. And there are two options here. Require my password to log in. I'm going to leave that checked. And use Active Directory. I'm going to leave that box unchecked. So this is a time zone. It looks good. So this is a summary of the choices that I can review. And if I need to change anything, I can always go back. So I'm going to click on Install. So I'm going to click on Restart now. So I'm going to log in. So this is a welcome page. I'm going to click next. I'll click next again. I'll click finish. On the left side, this is the panel and this is the show apps icon. So these are a list of the apps that I installed with Ubuntu 24.10. So I'm going to open the settings app. So this is network. So there's network options. This is VPN. I can add a VPN here. I can also configure a proxy here. This is displays. I can change the resolution here. This is the scale. This is night light settings. So this is the sound settings. This is alert sound. This is over amplification and this will allow volume to exceed 100% with reduced sound quality. This is the power settings. So this is the power saving settings. This is screen blank and you can configure minutes here. Automatic suspend. So this is the power button behavior. When it is pressed, I can configure it to suspend power off or do nothing. This is multitasking. This is appearance. And there's also dark theme. This is the default theme. These are the individual colors. So these are some of the wallpapers. This is Ubuntu desktop. This is the desktop icons. Right now it's normal. They're small, large, and tiny. And this is the position of the new icons. You can set this to any one of these. You can show home folder. You can turn this off or on.
So this is the dock setting. This is auto hide the dock. You can turn this off or on. This is panel mode. So on panel mode, the dock extend to the screen edge. So right now it's extended to the screen edge. I can turn this off. This is the icon size. And this could be adjusted. So this is show on. And if you have more than one monitor, you can configure this here. So position on the screen, right now it's on the left. I'm going to leave it on the bottom. I can also set it on the right. And this is the configure dock behavior. So you can turn off the show trash icon. I'll turn it back on. This is the show volume on devices. So this is enhanced styling. This is styling pop-up and there's tile groups. Keep windows grouped together. So this is apps. These are the default apps. So there's removable media and you can automatically start apps when media is connected or inserted. For example, a USB drive and you can configure these. This is notifications and these are the app notification settings here. This is search. This is search locations. And these are the default locations. There's also custom locations. This is online accounts and you can configure your online account here. For example, Google. This is sharing and this is media sharing. This is mouse and touchpad settings. So this is keyboard settings. This is printers. You can add a printer here. This is accessibility and you can always show the accessibility icon here. I'll turn this on and it's here. This is privacy and security. This is system connectivity. This is screen lock settings. This is location. This is file history and trash. So this is system and this is language support, language, regional format. This is your account. This is the language you can set. This is formats. I'm going to open calculator. So this version is 46.0. I'm going to open utilities and these are some of the utilities. I'll open text editor. So this text editor, the version is 46.1. This is image viewer. This is the Shotwell app. I'll open the home folder. I'm going to click on About Files. I'll open this PDF document. And it opens in Document Viewer. So this is the Pictures folder. This is Videos. So I'll right-click the Desktop. I'll create a new folder. I'll right click the folder. I have these menu options. I'll click on properties so I can set permission for this folder. So I'll right click the desktop again and I have these menu options. Change background, desktop icon settings, display settings, so on the panel, there's Firefox, there's Thunderbird Mail. And this is the version here. So there's Rhythm Box. There's LibreOffice. This is the App Center and here you can download more apps. And they are listed by categories here. And there's also manage. 
So I'm going to open the terminal app. So I'm going to run an update. I'll type sudo app update. So I'm going to see if Vim is installed. I'll type Vim. So Vim is not installed. I'm going to install Vim. I'm going to see if htop is installed. htop is not installed. So VLC is not installed. So I'm going to install htop and VLC. So I'll type Vim. So Vim is installed. htop is installed. I'll open another tab. And VLC Media is installed. So I'm going to type GIMP to see if GIMP is installed. So I'm going to install GIMP. So GIMP is installed. So this is just a preview of Ubuntu, Oracular, Oriole, and the version is 24.10. So this operating system still has bugs on it and it is not a stable version. This is the system details. The kernel version is 6.8. The GNOME version is 46. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.